Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it and the whiskeys that make it sound better. I'm Josh, and today, I'm going to Disney World! Actually, I already went and came back. Anywho, this time I'm reviewing a flight of whiskeys I enjoyed while dining at Raglan Road in Disney Springs at Disney World. After a long day of waiting in lines, this was just what I needed to relax. After all, nothing says responsible adults surrounded by children like whiskey. While perusing the menu at Raglan Road, I saw they had a flight named The Comparison. Well, that's all I needed for an excuse. This flight had three 12-year-old whiskeys, which were the Glenlivet, the Elijah Craig, and the Napog Castle. The flight showed up on a wooden board with the numbers 1 through 4 written in Gaelic, which was a nice touch. The fourth spot was for Stillwater, which was the first time I'd received a flight with a palate cleanser. Number one was the Napog Castle. This one was totally new to me, and I was excited to try it out. The color was like toasted straw, and on the nose I picked up biscuits and honey with allspice. On the tongue, there was an almost granola-like hint of honey, dried fruits, and almonds. The taste was a bit dry, but nicely balanced. The finish was smooth, a little spicy, and a little sweet. Kind of like me. Number two was the Glenlivet. This one is a favorite of most whiskey drinkers, so they must be doing something right. With a bright gold color, it invites you in with a nose full of fruits, vanilla, honey, pineapple, apple cider, cinnamon, and nutmeg. On the tongue, I got apple, citrus, and cream, more pineapple, and something like a trifle dessert. Very nicely balanced overall. On the finish, the only words that come to mind are long and worth it. Finishing things up was Elijah Craig, with a color like caramel. My nose picked up notes of subtle perfume and clover honey that filled the nose, real bourbon vanilla, and an overall tone of sweetness. As a finisher, this was definitely enticing and promising of great things. Flavor-wise, I detected a deep and rich structure, rye, malty fruitiness, and a surprising touch of spearmint. To finish, you can expect sweetness from molasses and vanilla that leaves a lingering and slightly smoky aftertaste. Overall, the comparison flight at Disney World's Raglan Road was exceptional and paired lovely with the Irish food I enjoyed. If you're in Disney Springs, you owe it to yourself to stop in and try one of their flights. Don't forget to stick around for the step dancing show while you're at it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'd love to hear your comments on either Raglan Road or the comparison flight or really any of these whiskeys. If you have any suggestions for whiskeys I should try, drop them down in the comments. And if you'd like to be on the channel as a musician, whether reviewed or interviewed, hit me up as well. There's a link down there in the description for ways you can contact me, as well as ways you can support the channel. In the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up in that corner. And if you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do and it really does make a difference. Please don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6.